All right, ladies and gentlemen, this is your captain speaking. Buckle up, get ready for takeoff. Today, we're going to be flying into the territory of dating relationships. More specifically, young men dating women. And um, our destination will be a particular woman who put out a TikTok rant. And we're going to be responding to it. Now... The, um, the video I'm going to play is on another video. So we're responding to a response video. It's the only place I can find this woman's rant. Because I don't have TikTok. But we're going to go ahead and play it. And you need to buckle up for this one. This is going to be good. And then I'm going to replay it. I'm going to break it down portion by portion. And I'm going to comment on it. First, I want you to hear the whole thing, and then I'm going to break it down sentence by sentence. So, buckle up. We're getting ready for takeoff. Oh, boy, this is going to be good. Oh, boy. Um, I have a few things I want to say. But first, let's get right into it. Let's play it. Let's. I want you to hear it. Um, hear what she has to say. I'm going to have some patience, okay? So I got over 3,000 comments that I can't respond to, but here's my response video. And I can be a nice person, don't get me wrong, but y'all are really provoking me. And go ahead. You're not going to get a nice side of me if you want to provoke me. And I will check you. So you want to leave some nasty comments? Get ready to get checked. Very different uh, approach to this video versus the last video. Let's take a poll for all you guys that say I'm wrong. Okay, let's go. And the good guy, he's in the friend zone, and we don't know what we're talking about. It's it's all this feminist crap. You know, women want equality. It's our fault, though. Let's take a poll, which, by the way, you guys have had thousands of years to get it together. So I don't think it's our fault. If you guys could have done something better, you would have by now. Let's take a poll can see how many guys out here are actually dateable. How many of you work out? You go to the gym, you take care of yourself and what you eat. How many of you are fat slobs? Any of those? You're not an option. How many of you guys jack off to porn? Women don't like that. So we're not going to we're not going to be cool with that. So you're not an option either. Nope. How many of you live at home with your mommy? Or you have an extremely unhealthy relationship with your mommy where she tells you what to do, she she wipes your nose and, and wipes your tears, cooks for you, cleans for you. You don't know how to do anything for yourself because you're a giant child. How many? Be honest. Don't lie because I will call you out. How many of you are dr- getting drunk and high every weekend? Partying it up, YOLO. Acting like there is no afterlife and judgment day because you will come to face God one day. It's not YOLO. How many of you are reading the Bible and actually doing what it says? Not pretending to be a Christian man, a good Christian man. Yeah, we know what you're up to. How many of you on your wish list is ass and tits? You want double D's, you don't care about morals. You, you don't want emo- to deal with emotions. You want a robot. You want a sex robot. You'll be the first one in line for the robot girlfriend. That's you. <laughs> How many of you are hiding behind a computer every day and playing video games for hours? And you don't approach women. How many? You're right. We don't need you. I never said that we don't want you. I never said to give up on love either. I still have hope. But will I take these red flags? No, I will walk away at the first red flag and so will a lot of women. You have to do better. Stop blaming us. We're tired of the internet gurus talking about what women should be doing better. No, you're the leaders. You do better. (laughs) Grow up. And get ready to get called out. If you want to leave a comment on my page, I don't need your support. I'm not doing this for likes. I'm not doing this for money. 
this video was so unhinged. It was so completely unhinged, and I have to be honest, I'm... And the good guy, he's in the friend zone, and we don't want to, but here's my response video. We'll watch, just for some context here, she posted that first... Okay, so you heard all that, right? All right, I want you to hear the whole thing before I'm going to replay it sentence by sentence. Everything she said. We're going to... we're. Get ready because I'm gonna I'm gonna dissect this thing. I have a few things I want to say about the things that she said in this video. I really do. I've got a few things I've. So let's get right into it. Now we're gonna replay it, but this time I'm gonna stop it and comment on every sentence. Like I said, I want you to hear the whole thing first. Now that you heard it all, let's break it down. All right. Let's hope I can find it here. This video, and then this is the follow-up video to that video because it went viral. And this one is three and a half minutes. FYI, you've got to bear with me here. Let's a long three and, and, and a half minutes. To the curve and have some patience, okay? So I got over three thousand comments that I can't respond to. Okay. But here's my response video, and I can be a nice person. Don't get me wrong. But y'all are really provoking me. And go ahead. You're not gonna. You're not gonna get a nice side of me if you. I don't think she's a nice person at all. I really don't. I think she's really, really judgmental. You know, that's just my opinion. Um, but let's keep going. You want to provoke me? And I will check you. So you want to leave some nasty comments? Get ready to get checked. Very different uh, approach. Yeah. Um, like I said, she's not a nice person. Um, she se Like I said, she seems very, very judgmental. Let's get right into it. I, 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 sorry, I, I caught myself repeating myself. Let's take a poll for all you guys that say I'm Oh, hey, here we go. And the good guy, he's in the friend zone. And we don't know what we're talking about. It's That's right. She probably friend zones the good guys. That's exactly right. She she friend zones the good guys while she looks for the bad boys that she she can date. I guarantee it. The 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 good guy she should be dating is in the friend zone. So part of this falls on her. She's putting all the blame on men, but like I said, we're gonna break. I, I'm, I'm already breaking it down, and it's like. Yeah. Yeah, they they I'm sorry, but they they friend zone a lot of good guys. That's sad, but that's true. It's all this feminist crap. You know, women want equality. It's our fault though. Let it partly is their fault. I mean, look at women today. A lot of men blame feminism. Well, feminism is part of the problem. Women uh, think that they, um, they 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 want a man to live up to their high standards. You know, they won't date Joe the plumber, even though Joe the plumber makes six figures. Go figure. He does in this day and age, in this labor shortage. Plumbers, electricians, men in the trades are doing way better than they ever used to. Depends on what market you're in. But yeah, this girl seems uh, like a real stuck-up snob. She really does. She she comes across me the wrong way. Too judgmental. Oh, wait till you hear what she's got to say. Some of it I'll, I'll agree with. We're going to find out what parts that is. Let's take a poll. Which, by the way, you guys have had thousands of years to get it together. So I don't think it's our fault. Yeah, if you guys it's partly have is your better, fault. You would have by now. Let's take a poll. You can see how many guys out here are actually dateable. How many of you work out? You go to the gym. Yes, I do. You take care of yourself and what you eat. I do take eat. care of myself. How many of you are fat slobs? I'm not fat. Any of those? You're not an option. How many of you? All right. Let's let's go on. Let's go with this one. She asked a very good question. Now, this one I agree with her on. She's not wrong. 
here. Um, she uh, she said that a lot of guys are overweight and they dress like slobs, and she's she's absolutely correct. Eighty percent of the men are probably undateable if they're if they don't know how to tuck their shirt in, they don't shave, they don't clean up, they look like effing slobs. She's correct. Have you been to the grocery store lately? Have you been to, to Walmart lately, taking a look around? She probably has. She's going, oh my God. Some of these guys are fat, and the ones that are not are scrawny little runts. She don't want them either. It's just as bad being a, a scrawny runt as it is to be morbidly obese. It's almost just as bad. You know, I'm sure she's looking for Chad. I'm sure she's looking for the chiseled man. But she won't settle for a guy that even just looks healthy. So he's not chiseled. But he's not obese. He's not skinny, but he's medium built. He's okay. But she don't want that guy either. I guarantee it. Even if the guy was, was not overweight, he had a decent paying job, he tucked his shirt in, she still wouldn't want him because he's not Chad. I'm, that, that's how this woman is coming across. But guys, this first point, she's spot on. Okay, I'll agree with her on this one. Because I've taken a look around. More um, Obesity is a real epidemic in this country. Guys, women aren't going to uh, date you when you look like a fat slob. It's not just being overweight, but dressing like a slob. Not knowing how to dress up like a gentleman or look sexy. <laughs> You're competing with other guys to get the, the woman's attention. You do realize that for every attractive woman you're trying to pursue, there's probably 50 other guys pursuing the same woman. Did you forget that? You must have. Yeah, she's, she's correct on this one. So I'll give her a point here. Let's let's continue. You guys jack off to porn. Women don't like that, so we're not gonna we're not gonna be cool with that. Okay, she's talking about guys who um. You heard what she said, jacking off to porn, right? Well. Probably 90% of the male population watches prawn. Yeah. That's 90% of the men. Now, some guys only see it once a month. Some guys view it once a week. Some once every couple of months. Some guys do it every day. Now, that's, now, that's when you have a problem. Is when guys spend more time watching prawn than they should be out in the real world. So, yeah, it can become a problem. I can see her point there. But like I said, that's 90% of men. Believe it or not, you may not like what I'm saying, but I believe that 90% of the men, whether they admit it or not, are into prawn. Including this guy right here. That's right, this this guy right here, this man in the mirror. Probably about once a month. I don't know why I do it. I'm only there for about three or four minutes and I'm done. You know, watch one little sex scene. Okay, I've had enough of this. Time to switch it, you know, get rid of it. I don't know why I do it. I, I mean, I get lonely too. I'm a widower. And uh, at least I admit it. And 90% and, and of the men out there are doing the same thing. It depends on how often they do it, whether it's every day, once a week, once a month. For me, it's about once a month. But to, to say, well, I don't like a guy that watches prawn. Over 90% of the men watch prawn. I'm, I'm sorry, but that's just the, the way it is. Men will be men. That's just, that's just how it is. Men like to look at beautiful women. Men, men just are into certain things. 
It's just in our DNA. We're just hardwired for that. So let's continue on with what she's saying. Because like I said, men watching prawn, that's just a guy thing. Like men like their lawnmowers. They like their riding lawnmowers. They like their trucks. They like their full wheel drive. They, we, we love that stuff. We're men. I'm not apologizing for it either. No, let's continue. Like I said, we're breaking this down sentence by sentence. So you're not an option either. How Aww. many of you live at home with your mommy or you have an extremely unhealthy relationship with your mommy? Where? Okay, now, I live next to my dad. And he had a heart attack recently. But for 37 years, I lived on my own. 30 miles away from dad. Now I'm here because he just recently had a heart attack just just a couple weeks ago. And I was here to, you know, dial 911. And the ambulance came out to get him. Yeah. Yeah. So, uh, you know, it depends on the situation. Now, I was married for 12 years before she passed away. And I was on my own for 37, almost 40 years. I'm now 57 years old. Been on my own since I was uh, 18, 19 years old. Something like that. So, you know, from age 18 to 55, 56, yeah, I was on my own. So, I had my own place. I still kind of do. Um, but, uh, yeah, it depends, though. Now... What she's talking about is guys that live at home with their mommies and they've never been on their own, ever. But here's the problem. Now I encourage men and women, young adults, to stay at home with their parents as long as they can. I don't care if you're 30 years old. Inflation, housing is no longer obtainable. Just trying to rent an apartment could run you fifteen, sixteen hundred a month. Look it up. Look up the average rent. It's true. So just getting out of the gate, getting a decent job where you can uh, afford your own apartment now is becoming not obtainable. And that's just housing. That's not including a decent vehicle. That's not including groceries, utilities, you know, everyday living. It's like, uh, so if you're living at home with your mommy, that's, that's fine. So long as you're working. I don't care if you're working at Domino's. If you are paying rent to your parents every month. Let's say you work at Domino's and you're paying your parents six and seven hundred a month rent. Okay, you're paying them at least six or seven hundred a month rent, which is about half the national average. That's not bad. Even six hundred a month isn't bad. Let's say you're paying your parents six hundred dollars a month. You work at Domino's, and 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 you pay your mom and dad six hundred a month rent, and you help out with the chores. That's kind of like living on your own, sort of, but. You, at least you have a job and you're contributing to the household budget. What she's talking about are probably guys who aren't working at all. Yeah. I'm just putting that out there. She's criticizing guys who live with their mommies. I'm not. It depends on the situation. Now she's, I think, talking about a very specific situation. She called it an elm unhealthy relationship with their mommies define unhealthy relationship let's see if we can have her define it she tells you what to do she she wipes your nose and, and wipes your tears cooks for you cleans for you you don't know how to do anything for yourself because you're a giant child i agree with her that's the kind of, that's exactly she's now she's narrowing it down you got a mommy who tucks you in at night does everything for you. Yeah, you need to do things for yourself. 
Like I said, if you're paying $600 a month rent, you're mowing the lawn, you're helping to wash the dishes, cook some of the meals, do some of the laundry even, help out, help help around the house, and pay rent, that's not a bad thing. That's my opinion. Let's hear what else she has to say. How many? Be honest. Don't lie, because I will call you out. Oh. How many of you are dr getting drunk and high every weekend? Partying it up, YOLO. Acting like there is no afterlife and judgment day. Because you will. Okay. Partying up every weekend. Um, again, I have something I want to say about this one. If you define partying every weekend, what if I want to go out and want to hang out with some of my male buddies? You know, we go to, um, Big whiskeys. Is uh, there's a bar and grill. Springfield's full of these bar and like big whiskeys bar and grills, right? Even Cheddar's has a bar and a grill. Let's say we go to a party at Cheddar's. I'm hanging with my buddies at Cheddar's. There's a bar there. Maybe they have a few beers. We're having a good time, hanging out, socializing. I mean, that's got to be better than staying at home playing video games, right? It, sh it shows you're active in the community. It shows you've got friends. And you post, post it on Facebook. So you have a few beers. So what? What's wrong with hanging out with your friends on the weekends? Partying up, everyone. At least you know how to have fun. You know how to have a good time. You know how to socialize. At least you have some social life. I mean, that's my opinion. But she's acting like partying on the weekends with your buddies is a bad deal. No, it's not. Not in my opinion. So you have a few beers. Maybe you smoke a little weed. <sighs> mm. Yeah. Take a whiff. You know? So what? At least you're social. At least you're getting out of the house and you're doing something. Let's, let's hear what else she has to say. Because like I said, I had to say something about this. Because she thinks that's a red flag. And I say no. I say, guys, go out and party. Have a good time with your friends. It's the guys who don't do that, who stay at home and watch Lawrence Welk. Well, that's old. You don't know who that is. Welcome to face God one day. It's not YOLO. How many of you are reading the Bible and actually doing what it says? Not pretending to be a Christian, man. I'm sorry, but no, I don't read my Bible. And there's people on this planet with from all kinds of religious backgrounds and denominations and all kinds of beliefs. Do I read my Bible every day? Nope. I don't. No. I might pick it up every once in a while. But, no, I don't, I don't. I'll be honest with you. I do not read my Bible. I've got one. I'm just telling the truth. I could lie to you and say, oh, man, yes, I read my Bible every day. I do not. Okay? I don't. I'm just being truthful. So that's going to be a red flag to her. I'm flawed. I like to hang out with my buddies and know I don't read my Bible. It doesn't mean I don't believe. Okay, I do believe that, that God died for my sins. I, I believe that. But, no, I, I don't even go to church. Ah, but that's a red flag for her, too. No, I don't go to church. I don't put money in the offering basket. I don't read my Bible. I don't do anything that this young lady would like me to do. No, I don't do any of those things. Nope. I'll admit it. Nope. I sure don't. A good Christian man. Yeah, oh. we know what you're up to. I'm up to How no good. How many of you on your wish list is ass and tits? 
You want double Ds. You don't care about morals. Actually, yes, I do. I do care. If if you're someone I'm going to marry, I do care about morals. Because that matters to me. i got to know that she's going to be faithful. She's not going to cheat on me. Lie to me. Yeah, I do care. You take them right, I care. Let's continue on. You, you don't want emo to deal with emotions. You want a robot. You want a sex robot. You'll be the first one in line for the robot girl. No, I won't be the first one in line for a sex robot. I will not do a sex robot. I'd rather have a real woman than an AI robot any day of the week. If you want a sex robot, you do you. I'd rather have the real deal. Let's continue on. Oh, friend, that's you. How many of you are hiding behind a computer every day and playing video games for hours? Oh, that's a lot of guys. Then I'm not any better, really. I mean, I have a, my work schedule. And then I have a workout schedule because I work out at the gym. I, I go for hikes. So, then I shave, shower, get cleaned up. Um, I have to say, I'm probably guilty, not for video games, but I'm a YouTube addict. So, I probably watch at least two hours of YouTube a day. Maybe three. So, I'm partly guilty. I do, I'm on, I have screen time, just like everybody else. Whether it's... A regular TV or YouTube or Netflix or Amazon Prime whatever platform you're using we're all guilty of it every one of us are guilty of of screen time some of you just scroll on TikTok. me it's it's YouTube and I admit it again this man in the mirror right here is admitting his own flaws I'm a YouTube addict. I'm making a YouTube video right now for the YouTube. Yeah. Isn't that amazing? And you don't approach women. How many? You're right. We don't need you. I never said that we don't want you. I never said to give up on love either. I still have hope. But will I take these red flags? No. I will walk away at the first red flag. And so will a lot of women. You have to do better. Stop blaming us. We're tired you. of the internet gurus talking about what women should be doing better. No! You're the leaders. You do better. Grow up. And get ready to get called out. If you want to leave a comment on my page, I don't need your support. I'm not doing this for likes. I'm not doing this for money. Okay. All right. So basically, um, some of you guys are guilty of everything she listed. Some of you don't shower as much as you should, don't exercise as much as you should, you don't eat right, you play too many video games, you're on screen too much. Some of you don't even have a a job still living with your mommies not working you know um so um she she may be right like i said in the first one she was a hundred percent correct uh, and then she also made, made uh mention of guys living with their mommies depends on the relationship the kind she was talking about again she's correct but she still comes across as snobby. It's, I guess it's her presentation. She, she just rubbed me the wrong way. She expects you to be perfect on every level. And she accuses men of wanting perfection. Now this guy right here, I would love to fall in love again. But I'm not looking for the supermodel. I'm, I'm not going to marry that 20-something like I did with my first wife. I'm 57 now. That's not going to happen. 
I mean, I've been to Walmart. There's just, um, I don't see any eligible women that I would date. But if I were, you know, but there's not very many attractive men either. And I'm, I'm a straight guy saying this. I'm going, men are just as bad as the women. So she's correct. Guys need to stop being fat. Stop dressing like slobs. Now, on the issue of, like I said, party on the weekends. What's wrong with that? She wants a man who reads her Bible. Well, I'm sorry, but there's lots of men from other religions and all kinds of religious beliefs and lifestyles. So, no, I don't read my Bible. She's not going to like because I won't go to church. And I don't donate money to Kenneth Copeland or any other evangelist. Nah, I keep all my money. Yeah, I do. I admit it. I don't deny it. I don't deny it at all. We're already up to 31 minutes. I, did, I didn't even have time to go over the, any of the guys' comments. Oh, let's go to my history file. Let's see. Since we're... Do we have some internet connection? Maybe I can read some of the comments. This video... Okay, let's see. Um, Courtney Ryan just too polite here that's the youtuber i got this off of and uh yeah let's go over some of the comments let's see what some of the guys had to say i i said what i had to say i made my piece and guys yes party go out have a good time socialize be get a job tuck your shirt in try to look healthy I mean, she is correct on a few, on on a couple of statements. This guy says, um, "Women, you need to level up and become a better man." Also, women, if you don't accept me for who I am, then you're the problem. They do say that, but I hear guys say that too. Sword cuts both ways, guys, because I hear some of these uh, incels going here. I don't know why she turned me down. Why won't women accept me? Golly, dude. Why don't you change your clothes? Get rid of those frumpy clothes and that frumpy hairstyle. And get rid of those glasses. Come on. Have you even tried to look attractive? Tried to look sexy? I was watching this one guy in his car complaining about not getting a date. Guys are just as guilty as women are on this topic. Guys claim, women say, you have to accept us just the way we are. I've never heard any woman say that. I work around women every day. I've never heard them say that. But you'll think they say stuff like that if you watch the these internet videos. But in real life, I have never heard a woman say that. Now, maybe somebody will eventually, but I've never heard it. It's pretty simple. Men don't want to be with disagreeable women. It's too much stress. Yeah, but if she's too agreeable, that's just as bad. I wouldn't want a woman who agrees with me on everything. I want her to disagree with me on a few things. So being too agreeable is, yeah, like I said, just as bad. Uh, we've been told for over a decade that we're bad because we're men and that we're no longer needed. The dating scene reflects this. Well, men are needed. I see it every day. I see couples get together every day. So I don't know what these guys are talking about. I really don't. I don't get it. Um, I think some of the women, some of the reasons people stay single is they're just too finicky. You know, way too finicky. For me, I just want a mildly attractive woman who looks like a woman. Someone who doesn't have their hair butchered. Their hair isn't pink, blue, purple, orange. Covered in tattoos. I mean covered in them. A couple tattoos here and there, no problem. A couple piercings here and there, no problem. But when you're covered in them, 
and you have butchered hair that's pink, blue, purple, orange, and you're 200 pounds overweight, yeah, that's not attractive to me. If you look like you don't take care of yourself, and you dress like a slob, that's not attractive to me. I want a woman that looks like a woman. She takes care of herself. She's got beautiful hair, nice skin. She wears decent clothes, not designer clothes necessarily, just she knows how to dress herself. Yeah, is that too much to ask? Just a, It's like the price is right, okay? If you take the contestants, not the supermodels on the stage, I just, the women in the audience, the, the contestants, they're average, everyday women. I was watching an old rerun from uh, the early 80s, and those women are attractive, every one of them. Even some of the older ladies look like women. They look like ladies. And they're attractive. They're not covered in tattoos. They don't have pink, blue, purple hair. They're not 200 pounds out to here. They're not dressed like slobs. I was watching The Price is Right. I'm talking about the contestants, not the supermodels on the stage. The, the, the contestants, the normal, everyday people. When I want to fall in love with another woman I want a, an, an everyday woman I don't want the supermodel just the everyday woman just like I used to see on the price is right but that's too much to ask that's misogynistic to even ask for something that basic in this day and age yeah because I'm healthy I take care of myself I'm 57 years old I'm sorry I'm going off on a rant. This video, um, the things this woman had to say, I agree with some of it, and I disagree with some of it. And like I said, I encourage young adults to stay living with their parents for financial reasons. Rent's too high, groceries are too high, I get it. As long as you're paying rent to your parents every month, and you're contributing to the household by paying rent, mowing the lawn, cooking some of the meals, keeping the house clean, helping with the laundry. Great, you're earning your keep, you have a full-time job, and you're saving money for the down payment on your own house. Or you're saving the money for a decent vehicle. Or to invest in, in artificial intelligence. I'm not a big fan of crypto. But I am jumping on the AI bandwagon. I am going to be investing quite a bit of money in AI. Yeah, I do believe in artificial intelligence. Um, if you tell someone repeatedly that you don't need them, you don't, <clears throat> you don't, and you wish they'd leave you alone, they will go away, especially after 40 or 50 years of this. A lot of guys are walking away. Yeah, it's like... Um, Today, you can't even ask a woman out without her calling you a creep. Yeah, you can't even approach a woman. Anywhere. It's like, just don't approach them. It's best to you avoid them as much as you can and, and don't speak to them. I'm kind of this way at work, even. Yeah, I have women I work around. I do my best not to speak to them. Absolutely. Don't want to get in trouble. Just saying good morning can get you in trouble. So I just, I'd rather not speak to them at all. That's the world we now live in. Um, woman struggles in dating. I'm a victim. Man struggles in dating. Do better. Um, woman plays the victim card. Men can't do that. Yeah, we're not allowed to play the victim card. Men do need, they do need to do better. I've been to Walmart lately. Yeah, men need to man up. That's, put down the video games. And then we have too many men that just spend all day living with their mommies and playing video games all day. They won't get a job. They won't even try. I've seen some of the guys, and they just 
look like slobs and wonder why girls don't talk to them. Like that guy who was talking in his car. I'm 27 years old and never had a girlfriend. I was looking at him. I'm going, I can see why. I've had plenty. I've been married. I've had girlfriends before and after she passed away. Yeah. We're already up to 40 minutes. I didn't mean for this video to last this long. But maybe we should do a podcast version of this. Um... Yeah, the way she described unworthy men also describes women too often, yet men who have a higher standard are criticized and called controlling. Um, yeah, that's true. We, we're called that. And I, I might be get called that just for wanting an average woman. I didn't say supermodel. The hot girl's on the stage and the price is right. I just want the everyday modern woman. Who takes care of herself is that wrong just someone who takes care of herself someone who's kept she believes in being healthy <laughs> yeah uh, it just requires you to type in your credit card number and pay a woman who doesn't even care about you which is sad yeah I don't do that that's the only fools. Yeah, that... Guys are stupid. It is hilarious. Men can't tell women anything, but at the same time, we are the leaders when it's time to assign blame. Huh. Yeah, this woman is definitely a... Men want a fantasy. The fantasy of a woman who sees us as human beings. Women want the same thing. Men and women both want the same thing, but... It seems like they, they both have their standards just a little too high. I'm sorry this video... I can't believe we're up to 42 minutes. We're going to have to do a podcast version because I've got just so much to say still. And uh, I said all I could for this video. Like, comment, subscribe. Like, comment, share. You know the routine. Comment below. What do you think? Is the, the we broke up this woman what she had to say. What do you what's your take on living with your parents? I'd say stay at home as long as you can. Save your money. Invest it. Contribute to the household budget. Pay your parents' rent by all means. Party on the weekends with your buddies. Be social. And put that on fake book so she can see how that you're a social person. That's my opinion. Put your opinions below. What do you think? What do you think of what that woman had to say? I'd say more, but I think I pretty much said everything I wanted to say about this topic. Without <laughs> we're already up to forty three minutes, um, so um, I can't believe this video lasted as long as it did. I said as much as I did. I just had things to say about this. I'm still rambling on. I'm still going on a rant all about this very topic. I can't believe I'm still talking about this. Wow. Some people give up entirely. I'll never give up. I'll keep my eyes and ears open. That's just me. Well, I want to thank everybody for watching. Like I said, comment below. What's your take on what this woman had to say? Like I said, stay at home with your parents. Pay them rent. Save your money. Rent is too damn high. Groceries are too damn high. Utilities are too damn high. Insurance is too damn high. Health care is too damn high. I get it. I get it. You know... Um, the only reason I'm with my dad after 40 years of being on my own is because he had a heart attack and he had one just a couple weeks ago That's, um, so again and, and he's in his 80s so um, yeah taking care you gotta take care of your parents they're the only ones you got
My mom passed away years ago. My wife has been gone six years. So, you know, I'm kind of on my own. We're going to do more videos on dating and relationships because um, I may have to stop this and do a podcast version because I can do two hours on a podcast. Whereas here, we're already up to 45 minutes. I'm sorry. I'm just going to let you go. I want to say thank you for com coming on board. I I'm glad you enjoyed um, our, our flight together. Like I said, I'm, I'm, I've got my trusty co-pilot with me, but didn't have anything to say today. But um, this has been an amazing video. They're going to have fun trying to upload this tomorrow. i got to find a title and a thumbnail for it. That'll be a challenge for me. Um, so thank you for watching. Comment below. Thank you, thank you. i got to let you go. For real this time, I promise. Bye-bye.